Navi Nifty India Manufacturing Index. Do you have to invest in this NFO or do you have to avoid this NFO? Can we evaluate and understand? Hi, this is Ramalingam from holisticinvestment.in. We help individual investors like you to take the right financial and investment decision so that you can reach your financial goals faster and smarter. First, let us understand some key features of this particular NFO. Can we? This NFO is open till 24th August 2022. Then it will be available on the regular basis for regular purchase and sale once the scheme reopens because it is an open-ended equity fund. Under equity fund category, this comes under index fund category. The benchmark index of this fund is Nifty India Manufacturing Total Return Index. The minimum amount for investment is 500 rupees only. Fund manager is Aditya Mulki. There is no exit load for this particular fund. What is the investment objective of this fund? The investment objective is to replicate, mimic, and just do cut, copy, paste of the benchmark index, which is Nifty India Manufacturing Index. The fund manager has to simply buy the same set of stocks in the index in the same proportion and same weightage. So this fund aims to deliver similar return to the index except for the tracking error and expense ratio. So we have understood the key features of this particular NFO. Now let us understand the basic details of this particular index as such, investment strategy of this index, let us understand. Why we are analyzing the index here, it is an index fund and it is an NFO. Whereas in the NFO, there is no track record, there is no portfolio for the fund. So we will not be able to analyze the portfolio. We will not be able to analyze the track record. So it is not advisable to simply take blind risk. We have to take calculated risk. To take the calculated risk, we are taking the index. Because this is an index fund, they are going to replicate the index. So same portfolio in the index is what going to be replicated. And a similar track record of the index is what going to be achieved. So it is better to analyze the index. So in this second segment, let us understand the index and its past returns and its portfolio and other analysis we will see. This index aims to track the performance of stocks that represent manufacturing sectors. Stocks are selected from a combined universe of Nifty 100, Nifty mid cap 150, and Nifty small cap 50 index. And what are all the top 10 stocks in this particular index? Reliance Industries, Sun Pharma, Maruti Suzuki, Mahindra and Mahindra, Tata Steel, J JSW Steel, Dr. Reddy's Lab, Tata Motors, Sipla, Hindalco. So these are the top 10 stocks, all are manufacturing companies, well-known companies. And if you look at it, even for the number one stock in the index, which is Reliance Industries, they have given only 5.22 percentage weightage. That means this particular index at the individual stock level is well diversified. We have seen like, like the top 10 stocks having exposure to the extent of 50 to 55 percentage. So that, so those indexes were highly concentrated indexes. This particular index is not concentrated index, well diversified index at the stock level, at the sector level, let us see again. At the sectoral level, this particular index uh, has got close to eight uh, sectors, capital goods, automobile, healthcare, metals and mining, chemicals, oil, gas, and consumable fuels, consumer durables, textiles, because manufacturing sectors are well diversified, but they, they are not one single sector. And if you look at here, capital goods, automobile, healthcare, these three sectors alone accounts to 59% of the overall exposure. That means at the sectoral level, there is a concentration. Concentration can increase risk and can increase return that we will see. 
the total return index of nifty india manufacturing index if you look at it in the last quarter so far it has delivered 8 percentage negative return in the calendar year so far it has delivered minus 7 percentage in the last one year it has delivered 0.23 percentage return in the last five years it has delivered only 8.39 percentage delivering 8.39 percentage for a five year annualized return seems to be lower compared to other diversified equity funds since inception yes this fund has delivered a decent 13.76 percentage so five years and lesser this fund predominantly has not beaten inflation however since inception this fund has beaten inflation so being a sectoral or thematic fund category because it is a thematic index this particular theme or any thematic fund for that matter will have additional risk if that particular theme fails to pick up or if there is a, a, a threat for that particular theme it will take longer time frame for the portfolio to recover right so usual 5 to 7 year suggested time frame for equity fund is not applicable for this particular fund we have to choose close to 10 year or more for any sectoral or thematic funds that way you should have definitely a much longer time frame before investing in this fund uh, and the data also substantiates that in the short run and medium medium term like 5 years this fund has not delivered very good return not inflation beating return so i would strongly suggest more than 7 years or 10 year kind of return is what you have to uh, generally look at it don't go for short term medium term investments extreme long term investments like 10 year plus is what recommended okay we have done the analysis on the index now can we move on to the third segment where we are analyzing the particular nfos pros and cons what are all the advantages and disadvantages first we are looking we have like we are going to look at the positive factors for this nfo though this is a sectoral thematic fund this is diversified across close to eight sectors right multiple sectors so there is there is a decent amount of diversification i will not say there is a wide diversification compared to a broad based index or a diversified uh, fund however there is a small amount of diversification here as an investor if you are looking for uh, exposure to manufacturing sector with, with low expense ratio then this fund may be suitable to you uh, if the manufacturing sector performs then this fund can deliver extremely good returns that can help you increase your overall return being an index fund this fund will obviously will have a low expense ratio because here fund manager is not going to do any research he is going to simply cut copy paste the index so that there is no fund management or research analysis expense because of that the expense ratio will be considerably low this fund is suitable for aggressive investors who are bullish on the manufacturing sector someone who has completed their core portfolio who is not a beginner investor who is not a conservative investor if they are looking at you know, like uh, additional investment to be made then in that case if they are really bullish on manufacturing then this fund can be one of the funds which they are considering to invest so this fund is obviously suitable for aggressive investors who are bullish on manufacturing sector we have looked at what are all the advantages and disadvantages advantages of this particular nfo now is the time to look at what is the disadvantage what is the potential demerit of this particular nfo being an equity fund this fund is not suitable for your short term goals and uh, this fund is not suitable for your core portfolio for your core portfolio broad based index or a well diversified equity fund is what more important you should not invest in these kind of uh, smart beta or factor based or uh, no uh, funds you should not invest and also this is a thematic fund you have to avoid though this is not a like factor based or smart beta fund this is a thematic this invest based on 
particular theme only. So there is no well diversification. That way, this is not suitable for your core portfolio. Being an index fund, obviously, they will not be able to beat the index. They will be able to simply generate similar return to the index. They will not beat the index. Normally, the actively managed fund, the fund manager will beat the index, try to beat the index and generate alpha, which is not possible in this index. They will simply mimic the index, uh, except for the tracking error and expense ratio. They will deliver closer return. This uh, tracking error and expense ratio can reduce the in, uh, reduce the return which they are receiving from the index. This fund is not flexible enough to accommodate a dynamic fund manager. Because this is an index fund, the fund manager is forced to cut, copy, paste the index. What is the allocation given for different sector? What is the allocation given for different stocks? The fund manager has to blindly follow. If the fund manager thinks, you no, know, like manufacturing sector seems to be becoming dull, he can't reduce the exposure. If he feels IT sector is becoming really brighter, he can't uh, provide exposure to IT sector. And uh, if the fund manager feels one particular stock is going to have a very poor outlook, poor future, then he can't avoid if it is there in the index. If there is another set of stock which has got a bright future but not part of index, he can't account. Because fund manager's hands are tied, he has to simply mimic the index. Because this is a thematic fund restricted to few like sectors only, this fund has got a higher volatility, high risk. This fund has concentration risk because limited to manufacturing sector, so limited to few sectors has got concentration risk. If the manufacturing sector underperforms or fails to perform for a shorter period of time, if there are you know, like uh, some uh, threats to this particular sector, then uh, it can take longer time frame, like 10 years plus to give you a decent inflation beating return. Here, the fund manager will not do any analysis on the underlying stocks. He will simply replicate the stocks which are there in the index. So that way, if you look at it, obviously, uh, we are taking a blind risk here. In the actively managed fund, the fund manager analyzes each and every stock in detail, in depth. He will look at the balance sheet, or he will analyze the profitability, sustainability, uh, he will apply multiple uh, statistical tools like P ratio, cash flow analysis, and he will study the management quality, capital efficiency, competitive edge. So multiple factors, both quantitative and qualitative parameters, they will analyze and then they will pick up you know, stocks. And they will also avoid below average stocks. Because of that, they are taking well calculated risk. Being an investor, I would strongly suggest you to take calculated risk, not blind risk, because calculated risk reduces downside risk and increases margin of safety. This is something very much important for any investor. So we have uh, analyzed the disadvantages as well. Uh, we have seen uh, features, we have seen the index analysis, we have also seen the pros and cons of this info, uh, this NFO. Finally, do we have to invest in this fund or do we have to avoid this fund? Is it a good or bad fund for your portfolio? First time investors, conservative investors uh, who are building portfolio for their core portfolio, then obviously you have to avoid this fund. Uh, there are existing manufacturing index funds with less expense ratio and less tracking error. We are not sure what kind of expense ratio and what kind of tracking error this fund will have. If we could wait and see what kind of tracking error and expense ratio this particular fund is going to have and then decide, yes, then maybe like this fund can be considered. But during NFO, from the expense ratio and tracking error point of view, also we are taking blind risk. 
and uh, this fund is obviously not suitable for someone who is looking for dynamic fund management or if you are looking for market beating returns it is not suitable one important caution here is if you don't know when to enter and exit from manufacturing sector then you should definitely avoid this because normally in the actively managed diversified equity funds the fund manager decides when to enter into a particular sector if he feels manufacturing sector seems to be really bullish he will have higher allocation if he seems if he feels that the manufacturing sector has got lot of threats now better reduce the exposure he will reduce the exposure he will give allocation to some other sector when a where the outlook is bullish so the fund manager shoulders the responsibility for when to enter into manufacturing sector and when to come out of manufacturing sector whereas in the navy nifty india manufacturing index fund and of course it is your responsibility to decide when to enter and when to exit so if you have enough competency to decide when to enter and when to exit from manufacturing sector then definitely you can consider if deciding this is not you know within the circle of your competence then better to avoid this particular nfo before deciding to invest in this fund or deciding to avoid this nfo please consult your financial planner because financial planner will be able to tell you based on your financial road map financial goals investment objectives whether this fund is suitable to your portfolio or not also being a financial planner based on your risk profiling that is your risk taking capacity and the risk appetite whether this fund is suitable for you or not he will be able to suggest also what kind of allocation to be given for this particular fund in your overall portfolio he will be able to suggest one more analytical report you can ask with your financial planner is because this needs to be a customized uh, report overlap ratio you have to check up you already have a set of uh, mutual funds schemes you also have set of direct stock in your portfolio now because you are adding this navy nifty india manufacturing index fund what kind of overlap this is going to have in your existing portfolio or what kind of unique diversification this is going to bring to your portfolio that you have to check up right this analytical report you can ask your financial planner he will be able to prepare and share it to you whether this overlap is going to help you or going to hurt you your portfolio returns again your financial planner will be able to comment on that hope you like this 360 degree analysis on navi nifty india manufacturing index nfo if you have any questions on this particular nfo or any other investment options feel free to book a free appointment with our certified financial planner to book the free appointment with our certified financial planner i have given a link below this video in the description you can click that link and book the slot for the free appointment again we regularly organize insightful investment webinars with eminent investment experts who have got decades of industry experience they will be sharing their wisdom on investment strategies well creating techniques which you can learn from them by participating in these webinars for free and immediately apply those knowledge in your portfolio i have given the free webinar registration link also below this video in the description box please register and book your seat for the upcoming webinar hope you like this video i'll again meet you in yet another useful video thank you bye bye